It is the beginning of the highway sale in Kentucky, and we are on a mission. We're trying to see if in three days you can actually cover the entire 400 mile sale. Let's see what we can do. We're at the beginning of the first day, and we are at a really big sale in a place we haven't been before. Uh, the other sales are just still just setting up, so we decided to start out here way out in the country. These folks have a huge barn and a ton of stuff. There are something like 40 or 50 sales that are multi-vendors in one site that say that they have antiques and vintage. So this is number one, let's see what we find. They certainly have a great old tractor there. And she says they've actually been doing this sale every year, but this is the first time we've gotten out here. They still have a whole lot more to set up. We are very early on the first day of a four day sale. So not everybody is ready. In fact, we went to a couple of our usual haunts and they didn't have anything out yet. We have Zeno scouting up ahead. It is very early in the morning. I think we're about the first or second people out here. There's one of those old pie plates from the early 80s that looks like a pie. Little house on the prairie. I see some iris and herringbone dishes, the clear ones. Oh, this is Taylor Smith's Taylor Boutonniere. And this actually is a pattern that sells sometimes, especially the uh, casserole dish. But if it's got a chip, that's not going to do us any good. What are you looking for uh, no, but that's Stetson Rio. I see some Gooseberry by Pyrex. I see some cool looking glasses, but I don't think they're old with that blue swirl. They look retro though. And this is kind of interesting with this. It's almost like starfish on it. 50 cents. I love my farm. Yeah, that would probably sell at Twin Lakes. 50 cents. Oh, this is Stetson too. I haven't seen this pattern before. I like any of these fun 50s patterns, but there's not enough here to make anything of. Yeah, the popcorn poppers all still work, and they're great, and they don't use any oil. I still use one of those. This is Homer Lachlan Best China with an old 60s label out of some restaurant. Certainly worth a dollar, but I'd like to find more than one. I'm trying not to do so many onesie twosie things. I like to have sets where people can get a whole bunch, because people don't always have the time to look like they used to. So if you can give them something where they have a whole set to instantly collect instead of having to piece it together, that can be better, especially where dinnerware and drinkware are concerned. Oh, it's a lot of work and people are out early. She says she's trying to get it unloaded and if we see anything, we are welcome to take a look. I see some Walt Disney books about people at work. An old Chevelle SS model, but that one's kind of squished. For 50 cents, I think Zeno is right. I love my farm. Someone's going to like that because it is very pastoral looking and old fashioned. And some folks do really like painted kitchenware and as decor in their kitchen. So we'll give this a shot. Well, we found something at the first sale. So we broke the ice and we are on our way to see what else there is out there. There are a lot of sales. So let's go. One fun thing about the sales, you get to see a lot of nice spreads. These people certainly have a compound out here and they have a barn and there's stuff in the barn. So we're going to see if any of it's old. Old wardrobe. Oh, it's a fish figurine, but it's resin. I'm looking for ceramic ones. Looks like a little phone table under here and Another fish, 1976 with the copper background. It's kind of worn out now, but it was cool ones. Shot glasses mainly seem like modern era. United States Army. Zeno's pretty good at sniffing out deals on electronic stuff because he does so much of our tech, so I just let him look at that. I will sneak by him to look at vintage. A very angry bird with a very broken top. There's the neat old thing in this barn. It looks like an old high cab truck. Little mustache cup here, but it's got a chip. Nice old pattern glass piece. Little piece of goofus glass, but it's worn. Maybe if I wear this wig, no one will recognize me. Merry Christmas. This seems pretty plasticky. Old ornaments, but they're just plain. It says Bondi Namco. Bondi Pac-Man. Well, it looks like a speaker, or is it a... It's a is it a Bluetooth? Yeah, I think so. 
a very aged washstand pitcher. A Louis Vuitton steering wheel cover. Yeah, I bet that's real. And there's this cute little box with the children on top of it. That's an old thing. Looks like somebody wrote the name on the piece. It's got a nice old mirror. Wish they hadn't written on top of it. Some Tupperware, but kind of boring colors. Oh, Mason treadle sewing bottom. It's broken, but you could weld it and then put a tabletop on it. That's what a lot of people do now. Kind of like the wagon wheel bench there. 1960s patio said it's great size, but it needs powder coating. But we are way back off the road for this one. This is about three miles off of the main highway. So we're behind two other vehicles. Maybe we're the first ones to get out here. Well, we're not the first, but it sure looks like there's some interesting things here. I like the old trailer for starters. A bunch of old doors. Kids who hunt, trap, and fish don't meg little old ladies. Well, they wouldn't have any time. Big old iron fence rail for $40 there. A bunch of fishing boxes. Tackle boxes, yeah. Yeah, I see a couple that are older metal ones. Yeah, they're a little more interesting for... People are collecting. This one? It's the same brand. You see this? Ten dollars on that. Oh yeah. Green one's kind of cool. How much is that one? 125. Yeah, there must be something special about those. I haven't seen that one before. Dollar each on here. This looks like a lot of basic tools and things people could use. And old insulators. A dollar each for a washer? Well, I think it's the whole tub <laughs> is a dollar. Always like these circular plant stands. Twenty-five dollars isn't a bad price. That could be repainted pretty easily. It's got the planter holder top. Bunch of old collectors references. That five dollars each. Not a bad price. I mean, if you want the information, it's sure worth it. Religious albums, compilation albums. All of these are not really easy to sell. This looks like an old promotional car. The front end of the Camaro. That would be a fairly valuable one if it was in better shape. A dollar each for the cheese crates is not a bad price. They've got a whole bunch. See, there's prices from when somebody used to be a dealer, so you've got to kind of look past that because it looks to me like a lot of this stuff is cheaper. Thinking of you on Mother's Day, King Leo stick. Well, I think for a dollar I might get a King Leo. Now remember, it takes work. Oh, it does, yeah. Smiling. A lot of smiling helps. So, uh, yeah, those are all good things. And also, uh, I bet you do some stuff, too. I bet you work out here. No. no? I work out in the house cooking, washing. And that seems like work. That lights is pretty stuff. Yeah, that is pretty. A bunch of wattware here. Autumn leaf. Who did this one? Oh yeah, this is a kitchen craft. This is an offshoot of Fiesta by Homer Laughlin, but with a buff body and then painted designs. $30 on this is probably a fair price. You don't see the larger apple mixing bowl too often. Yeah, they've got some cool stuff here. I like this pattern with the dots with the little squiggles. I think this is federal glass. Yes, there's the F on it. And yeah, this pattern's starting to shoot up like the Pyrex is. Bunch of keys here. I don't know if they're looking for a dollar for all of these or if it's a dollar each, but either one of those prices actually suits me fine. I'm going to assume a dollar each and pick through the ones that I really want. Some plot keys. I probably need some of those, but I don't know which or what yet, so we'll take these. Well, these folks definitely have a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, is that a pool light or a boat light? This very old croc, they have 300 on, but it doesn't have a lid. This one's Keystone. You know, these are all priced up because this is something that's very popular in this area. The coolers are a little better deal. I like the ones with the metal spigot. I avoid the plastic because that's getting into the 1980s. Old Howard Cock Rouge, 45 for the electric, but you'd need to have the plug and make sure that worked. Bunch of Harlequin, I like those colors. And then they have a bunch of the green over there. Well, they do have some neat stuff here, I will say. I don't see a lot that's super bargain priced, but I do see things that are cool and worth the price. 
I like these old telephones from the uh, 80s. Yeah, where you can see all the stuff and they light up when they ring. Yeah, I think that's fun. Yes, you never know. You, you might need a landline again. You never know. 25 for the swanky swigs. That's a cute little cart holder. And then we've got the Coventry, the Fiesta from the 60s. Now listen, this, this is Fiesta. Oh, yeah. This is at Thanksgiving, but I decided I would just use all my colorful for Thanksgiving, and I'm going to sell every bit of that. Yeah, it's neat stuff. Dollars for every holiday. It's a great price. I just, oh, I just don't need it. I know I'm in the same boat. That's the problem. You've got some wonderful things and I'm just thinking, but do I need any of them? These folks haven't done the highway sale before because they used to spend half their year in Florida and they would sell down there. And I think that's the reason that we're seeing some real bargains on some things and then still close to retail on a lot of things that I would like to buy because they are just used to having this as a shop. And so I'll buy the things that are worth buying and we may want to come back and talk to them at a later date about a bigger purchase. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. That's 80s. Matches that with yeah, that is a nice set, isn't it? I put that together. Yeah, oh, that's great. I love the red handles. Lots of Corel wear. Well, I'm going to go look down on the other end, and then we can uh, go on from there. They certainly have the stuff. Perth Amboy, New Jersey. John Dudor. Lots of apple boxes, mostly from Washington, actually. I recognize a lot of these little town names, Lake Chelan, Peshashton, Wenatchee, Yakima. Those are really cool. I doubt that they're cheap, but I might just ask. And then they've got a bunch of toys, too. So this is, this is a fun sale. I mean, they obviously love collecting. Uh, they're selling off some of their extras. They do know their stuff, so there's not a lot of great deals here. Easy Tweez Cricket and Insect Cage, new old stock, $3 each. And there's a bunch of traps. Oh, I put aside one of those cheese things in one of those um, candy tins that they had. Just getting started. Old galvanized buckets at about $30 to each. To one fun thing about going in these back roads off of the main highway sale is that you get to see some different things. This is a little place called Garden Patch Produce. It is run by the Amish. A bunch of them have a collective here and they sell all sorts of good food and fresh vegetables. That looks good. Yes. Bargain table, number two tomatoes. I guess these are factory seconds. Like this one has an interesting growth on it. That certainly doesn't dissuade me. These are big ones though, I didn't want to Big beefsteak, yeah. Certain things run out really fast. This place just opened 15 minutes ago. Certainly better prices and fresher than the store. The road tomorrow. Well, that's true. It would be good road food. Okay, sure. Lots of country jam, too. Rhubarb jam. It's actually surprisingly good. Cinnamon pear. Pear preserves. I'm sure this stuff is all delicious. As well as sorghum and honey made locally. 400 mile yard sale in Cadiz. We'll get to that one. And they have brown laying hen pullets for $13 each. Just starting to lay. And that's a pullet surprise. If you're in this area and you can help them out, here are things that they need in return. And here is the local variety store. You'll see no Sunday sale because, of course, that's a day of worship. So I don't know if you can see, but up there is the outhouse. George had to use the facilities. How was that? Well, the outhouse was less rustic than it could have been, so I'm grateful for it. When you're in the middle of a highway sale, you take the facilities you can get, and the Amish were very nice to provide that. And it was clean. So far, we've spent almost the same amount on food as we've spent on stuff, so we're at about $17.50 for each. Here's one of the Amish farmers right next door with Verdant Valley greenhouse plants. I have to say they're very industrious and it is very pleasant living around them. They know where the good land is. Okay, so we are right near the big freeway interchange of Highway 24, so we're probably going to start seeing a lot more shoppers. It's also about 945, but we're also seeing a lot more merchandise out now. So there's a pretty dog. All right, let's see what we have here. Another iris and herringbone. Very popular depression glass pattern because that was one of the Tennessee state flowers. Oh, battery-operated train. 
Oh, yes. Yep, that's going to be a transitional piece, probably 1970s. The presidential spoons just don't sell. We just had an estate sale with a bunch and they didn't go. 75 on the Zenith Transoceanic. And this is a later model, but they are a really good radio. They do get shortwave. 75 is probably retail on this model right now, but it's not a terrible price. That is a good point. These are Corning counter savers, very 80s. We sold these at the factory outlet when they were new. And yeah, they probably are gonna start being collected. A little bit of depression glass and some costume jewelry. That pin's got some sparkle to it. Probably pure diamonds. Oh, I yeah. wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> were you who was barking earlier? Yeah. I heard you. She could have gone in and <laughs> dog. She oh, she's little. oh yes. yes. Yeah, my friend's poodle thinks it's a great day, and I understand. My mom has this. Vera Bradley. Uh, oh, yeah. That's definitely a thing. Is this all your stuff? Or just, like, at the end? Yeah, that's my sister. Oh, okay. Pam is down here. Oh, you got a whole bunch of you together. That's great. Well, I used to have a shop. So. Oh, very good. I thought so. You've got some neat older stuff. Yeah. Little Fenton pieces, yep. And there's the candlestick. Charles pretzels and Charles chips. We see these a lot because they were made in these big tins well into the 1960s. A little bit more jewelry, but I don't see anything I really need. This looks like a little rosary here. Dark crystal, $50 for that. That is one of the better lunch boxes though. Maxwell House tin, 20 on that. See, this is all full price. I have to say the deals were better at the other places we went. This is one of these tea sets that's in the basket. Well, it was originally a tea set in the basket. Now it's just the basket. Animal Stories of P.T. Barnum. Some relatively common tins here. Action figures. They're asking 25 cents to a dollar for these little plastic toys. This is pretty, but I doubt that it's old. No, not at all. Bunch of milk glass. That's a nice Westmoreland set. The paneled grape there with all the tumblers. Mostly Avon bottles. Now this is nice because it's got the cream top and the spoon with it. It whips cream top. Home dairy from Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. Well, I'll ask about this, but we'll see what else they have first. I see a set of Pyrex. Not a terribly hard to find pattern, but nice that they've got three pieces in the set. Some old cast iron. I don't see any brand names that are anything I look for, though. And these are very badly formed and badly painted. These are reproductions, the little salt and pepper shaker. Now there's a scratch on one of the bowls and a little bit of wear, so I guess I'm going to pass on those. Well, that's very Tupperware, and that is definitely a 70s look. Yeah, it's and it's got the little there. handle in there. Oh, yeah, with the strainer. That's not bad. We'll see what they want for that. Tupperware's about to stop being made, apparently. Yeah, I think it's the guy over there. I'm going to ask him about one other thing, too. Wizard Deluxe Fan is a good-looking model. Tape on the cord, though. Makes me suspicious. Well, so far, found something at every place we've been. You got a couple of uh, a folk remedy Oops. medicine thing and a book about flowers of the area, so that's kind of cool. I've got to say, I'm finding old stuff, and I'm buying a little bit at each place. A lot of the better stuff so far has been offered by people who said, oh, I used to have a shop, I used to be a dealer, but they haven't lowered their prices to reflect the fact that they are selling alongside a freeway now and not in a shop. Well, you never know what kind of traffic you're gonna run into. This next place is the first place that we're going to today that we actually went to last year. So we'll see what they have that's new or old and fresh. I see costume jewelry right away, and of course I'm always in the market, but everything here seems to be, well, pretty contemporary or just really sort of thin and not very interesting looking. It is Motor Company. Plastic. Oh, all sorts of things you can do if you want to be James Bond. Explosives like Granddad used to make. Niagara Falls, we've got some lighters here. Hey. <laughs> Oh, how cute, baby crocodiles. They like to eat people too. Okay, no Zippos, nothing real interesting. 
vintage churn is not a bad price at 35 and I actually have a lid that might replace that chip lid. I do like the old picnic baskets, but I already have one in stock right now. They're asking 15. That's actually a pretty good deal. Yeah. Well, you could roll around the shop in it. That's actually a great deal. They've got more folks here selling in this barn this time, so we're going to see what these folks have. I don't think they were here last year. They've got a bunch of blue ball jars. Zero to 15. They've got all the numbers, including 13, which is the harder one to find. $80 for the whole set of 12. See what else they've got. That guy had coins, but he was priced like a regular coin dealer. You don't find coins on big discounts, generally speaking. Charlie Brown Dictionary. The 1950s McCormick Farm All by Harvester. That's a pretty cool thing, but I don't think that's for sale. I like the old cradle. They say it's really old, all that bent wood and those old wheels. Priced at $240, though. But I'm a little more interested in seeing what the radios look like. The prices are good. The condition could be the problem. I see little cracks and splits. That one needs a battery. This one says it plays, but it's cracked back there. This one's got scrapes on the color. I mean, it's just hard to find these in good shape these days. The old transatlantic. This is the old version of that zenith that we just saw at the other sale. Transoceanic. That would be a great deal if it didn't need work. From the Christmas story, the famous lady leg lamp for $50. Old Curiosity Shop by Royal China. $10 for all is a good price, but the condition is the problem. The platter would be thing, the thing to have. You don't really see that very often. These little snowflake pieces are another 60s pattern, also by Royal China. Oh yes, the tourist bowl. I think that was federal glass from the 70s. A dollar is not a bad price, really. So it's not just roadside sales. Sometimes there's thrift stores that participate or consignment stores or antique stores. And this one, the Bargain Barn, is only open Thursday and Saturday and they're doing half price. And I found some good stuff in here. They're open so seldomly I don't get to come here often. And right away I think I see it. Yes, I think it's, that might be Fenton, I'm not sure. $12, does it have any label? It is. Silvestro. Oh, Silvestri. Okay, yeah. Ask for assistance with stuff in cabinets. So let's see if there's anything we need to have help with. I see some cute dog and cat figures, but nothing I really need. Pretty Murano bowl, but they got the memo because it's $45 at half off, which is full retail. Backroom bargains. Let's see what they've got in here. We are looking for some bargains today. We did find a lot of vintage last time we were here, but you know, it always changes. So you just never know what there's going to be this time around. I'm not seeing as much vintage this time around, although there is a nice old service plate back there with a lot of design. This Asian figure is going to be 1950s. This might be Siring from California, but it does not have a label. All China, yes, I just had an estate sale where we had tons and tons of those. Bone dishes for $2 a piece, now a dollar. That's actually a pretty good price. Japanese Lester. Ah, Disney World. Let's see what kind of shape this is in. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, 50 cents. I think that we'll take that to Florida. Thank you. Mr. Hands is going to carry that. More of this newer Homer Lachlan China down there. Capo de Monte. Naturally, a few little chips. These ceramics were all made in Hawaii in the 70s, and there are some people who collect oh, really? this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that particular painted design. Three dollars, pretty good price, really. There's some color for you. This is a 1970s or early 80s shape, and it's six dollars. That's actually tempting. I wish it had more than one tumbler, though. I'm not sure how you would match those. A little bit of Franciscan apple there. And another room. I don't remember this room before. They seem like they may have expanded. There is a difference. Lots of useful stuff, but I just am not seeing a lot of vintage stuff right now. So. It's 70s. Don't see anything old, although there is this square vintage tablecloth for $6. That is not a bad price really at all. 
That's about what I sell them for at estate sales. This looks like it's a bunch of stamps. Oh yes, an old set. Now that actually might be kind of interesting for $10. Well, it's kind of crumbling. We've lost some of the letters and things, so... As much as that might be interesting and probably saleable, I don't think I'm going to bother with it today. The Palace of Versailles, where the World's Peace Treaty was signed. These were very popular around the end of World War I. That is, in fact, where the Treaty of Versailles was signed. They thought that was going to end all future wars. It's a shame it didn't. $30, half of that would be $15, but it is starting to flake here, and that is a problem with these reverse painted on convex glass. They tend to flake off, so you really have to check that out. Project Antique Cabinet, $75. For $37.50 today, this would be a good project for someone that's a topper from an old built-in, but you could certainly find some way to repurpose this today. The other nice piece of old furniture here is this dresser, which is now $75, and that's a very nice price. This is going to be from the late 1920s or so with this veneering and the mixed colors, which gives it a little more dimension. And it's got a nice shield back mirror in good shape. I didn't actually notice that. Is this an old radio? It looks like it. Yeah, you would flip top. Yeah, it splits. So you would, well, that's so that you yeah, could open it up for the stereo. Yeah. Morph suits for Xenomorph, yes. <laughs> Says it was worn once. Now, one piece we almost missed because it was down on the bottom, half of $15. We'll take this Viking piece. We'll look really quickly for any vintage costume while we're at it. But we did find a few things here again. We always seem to. Well, these two are actually a treasure craft line that you almost never see from very close to the end. $2.50 and a dollar on this one. But it's got a chip, so... We'll get this one to show because it's the same pattern and it's in good shape. They do these for every month of the year. It was popular. It's a reprint of a late Regency piece, but these are from the 20th century. They're $5 each. They did one for every month and they're all floral sprays with descriptions of the flowers in bloom in that season. Well, that place never seems to disappoint and we found some stuff we can use at the house and some stuff for resale too. We're coming into downtown Cadiz, which is a big antique destination. But today, of course, we are primarily looking for the flea markets and the roadside sellers. Here we're in the antique district. There is Purple Pig on the left. Antiques open on the right. That place is never open. Yeah, we'll give that a try just because we've never seen that place open before. And then the two antique malls, the bigger ones, Cherokee and Cadiz Antique Mall, are down there. The pork industry is big here. They have an event called Ham Fest every year, and there's little pigs with advertising all spread out on the streets, sponsored by various local businesses. And then we've got this antique store here. We have never seen this place open before, so we don't know if they're clearing out what's left. <laughs> Bad pig. Hi. That's craptastic. Oh yes, that's absolutely like straight from China. Oh yes, the Garfield mugs. Those are still pretty common. They made a ton of those, but it has been a while. Older baseball players here. Carlton Fisk. Well, so far I have to say the stuff out on the sidewalk isn't so impressive, but maybe there's more interesting things inside. Oh, Hull Pottery, that's actually a good color. Oh, fantastic. Well, that'll be fun to watch develop. We'll come back for that. Yeah, it takes a little while when you're, especially when you're taking over an old store and kind of fixing up their stuff. There's a couple of things in here I'd like to ask about if I could. Oh, yes. Little roosters. That looks like a small Royal Copley. We don't really see the little guy and he's not priced badly, so I might take him. He needs a good bath. So does the larger one. This one has a lot of crazing, though. Nice older piece with the butterfly there in the carnival glass. Bunch of the Goebel Fryer stuff. I do like the cream and sugar roll. You don't see those as much. That's kind of cute. Hazel Atlas. There's the Hazel Atlas mark. Not to be mistaken for Anchor Hawking. It's an A and an H. Or H-A. Want some fancy salted mixed nuts? This was the big joke at the estate sale. Yeah, he's seen that one before. <laughs> yeah, it scares me. 
it's nice that it's got the original label still. That's not one of the custard colors that glows under a light, of course. Oh yes, little chalkware. Nah, I don't need that. Playboy car badge, $10. Well, that is a must. Lots of little Soraka wood figures from the 30s, Japanese figures from the 50s, and then there's E.T. And he's a walker. That's great. Silver filigree bracelets in the back are kind of neat. Nice biscuit jar. Well, it's great to see that this is going to be an antique store again. And this fellow, I know I've seen him around somewhere, and he does know his stuff. And he's actually trying to move a lot of this out so he can bring in better stuff. So it'll be fun to see this come back to life. It's a good store setup. I mean, there's showcases that can be filled again with something other than empty boxes. Here's one of these neat sets of siesta wear with the heavy tapa design, which you don't see as often. $30 is not a bad price. The jackets just always tend to split, though, because this wood just shrank over the years. Even if you kept them in good shape, oftentimes they break up like that. Signed Bill Cosby. That might be worth something to somebody who likes infamous folks. And then on the left, you have Richard Petty. The Atomic Jet car looks really fun. I have not seen that piece before. Looks like you had to put it together. Well, it's so cool that you've been doing it forever. And uh, yeah, this is John and this shop is going to change really fast. So if you get to Kate is Kentucky, check it out. It's going to be called Kate is Coins, Jewelry, Antiques and Home Decor. Excellent. I'm excited for you. It's so great to see this coming back to life. Thank you. Aha, so uh -huh, we have enough to be going to the back. In the meanwhile, I will say that that guy was very interesting and I think he's doing it right. Whereas we've been running into a lot of people who, oh, I used to have a shop and I still want shop prices for things, even though I'm selling by the road. He's actually opening a shop and he wants to get rid of the old stuff so that he can put things that are going to sell to his customers. So it'll be nice to have another shop here in downtown Cadiz. And the best thing was he gave me a decent deal on his old stock and they were all things that I have customers for. So we just keep shifting it around and make the world go round. That looks unpleasant. Well, rather than a dashboard cam, we're going to try an outside cam and see how that works. Maybe if we can make it work. We're at a place that I've been before, but not on a Thursday. This is usually a Wednesday and Saturday meet. Sometimes there's vintage here. We're going to check it out. This is usually a farmer's market on Wednesdays and Saturdays with some old stuff. But today it's a lot of used stuff and we're gonna see if any of it is vintage stuff that we think is cool. I'm seeing this set of glasses by Libby, which look 1990s to me, maybe 80s. $5 for the set. Well, there is a lot of new stuff here, I can tell, and a lot of new stuff that's just sort of household stuff. So I do see some older toys perhaps down there. Zeno pointed out this is actually a pretty good deal for a locker, only $20. We could use it, but there's no way to get it home. There's a little trunk there, and that would be good because it's a flat top. You can put glass on that. You could use that as a table, and that makes it more saleable than a dome top. It's from about 1900. But as I've seen in the flea market here in the past, it seems to be mostly newer stuff, mostly used household goods, and not a lot of stuff that I buy. This guy's got old cast iron, and the kettles are interesting, especially the one with the number. It's the oldest one. He just offered them all to a woman for $20 a piece, and I am hoping she is foolish enough not to take them at that price, because I'll take the best one for 20 Today, iron is the nutrient I'm getting. Well, you snooze, you lose. He offered a great deal. She said, I have to think about it. And while well, she thought, I bought. So now we are headed across the land between the lakes over Lake Barkley and Kentucky Lake and on to more shopping. No, we will not get through all of the 400 mile sale. I can tell that already because we're only halfway through day one, but we are going to have a lot of fun trying and come on back and join us for more of this adventure. There's highway sales all over Kentucky spring and fall. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one. Also click thumbs up to like this video and check the description for information about our Patreon, our memberships. We've got a lot of different levels with different perks and bonus videos and early content. Also, please do check out our website, theantiquenomad.com for appraisal help. And we'll see you again for more adventures in the antique and vintage community soon. Bye for now.